Shalom. Ladies and gentlemen, today as always we'll be talking about our weekly Torah portion. Two by us here, two Torah portions, uh, portions Chukat and Balak. And uh, before that I want to ask you a question. When you look at the Jewish person, what do you think about it? What do you see? You see the what material the keeper is made from or the absence of, of one what uh, length of the pace does he has or absence of the space what type of beard he has or absence of a beard if a, a, a woman's hair covered or opposite if uh, he wears a long uh, coat or a uh, fancy jacket or a hat or whatever it is we always see the difference and we judge right away. We can define this is part of this stream or that stream. This is against, this is for, for this, this is lefty, this is righty. But uh, why we look at the differences all the time? In our weekly Torah portion, uh, Balak, like a small kind of uh, uh, warlord uh, in the Middle East, he understands that he cannot overtake the Jewish people with the bare hands, meaning even with the weapons, uh, and uh, he hires a professional. He has a professional to curse the Jewish people. He hires Bilam, Bilam, great antisemite. He, he wants to curse the Jewish people. He hates Moshe Rabbeinu, but even he, being a prophet, he understands that he cannot do whatever he wants against the Jewish people. It's all in the hands of Hashem. And when he stands over the Jewish camp and prepared to curse, as Hashem told him, you will, your lips will say only what I put in it. And instead of curses, he says the blessing. And what the blessing? He says, you like, uh, uh, I, I will see you from the top of the hills and the mountains. And the Rashi explains the hills and the mountains, tops of the hills of the mountains, tall hills and mountains. Those are our ancestors, our fathers and mothers. Avram, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rochel, Velea, he sees something that unifies us. He doesn't see all the small difference. He sees the common denominators, our, our illustrious past, our illustrious fathers and mothers, our ancestors. He, as the antisemite who hates us, he looks from the side. He doesn't look from within and see the beauty of the Jewish people. And what's the beauty? Those are our ancestors. This is our illustrious history. Our ancestors who left Egypt, who crossed the sea, who stood by the relation Mount Sinai, who conquered the land of Israel, who built the country, who served in the temple of Solomon. That's a huge common denominator. But unfortunately, we need our enemy, antisemite, to see our common denominator. And uh, what actually Bilam says in a further blessings, he says, the nation that has such a lustrous past, uh, such a great ancestry will have a bright future. And he gives us a hint. All the time that we look at our difference, this is right, this is left, this is religious, it's not religious. When we look within, when we start to look at our difference, zoom out and look for the common denominator. And our common denominator, our great past, great history, and all the time that we will match this denominator, then our future will be uh, none less illustrious and bright. Thank you very much. I see you next week.